Okay, so this is the quad tilt ring uh, mechanical part of it anyway. Um, basically, there's going to be four of these guys tilting with the motor here. No ailerons, this whole thing's going to tip. And so the hinging is done on a piece of carbon fiber. There's a, one of those old die rods. And um, <clears throat> what I originally tried to do was mount here. The servo here had this packed up tight and there's too much slop um, in the in the linkage at this point. So I'm reversing the options here and I've got a piece of nyrod here like I said. You can see the carbon fiber comes right through here. And the lighting isn't that great. Let me tilt it up a bit. Anyway, a um, little bit of slop. Just a tiny bit. Um, this the, the, the carbon fiber fits in here pretty tight and I found that if you take your handy, tan, handy plumbing um, Tape. Just wrap a little bit of that in a spiral around the carbon fiber there. It takes up the slack and it's pretty tight. This is just a mock-up. I'm using foam, but I will on the on the real model. I think this center piece is just going to be a piece of 1 8 ply and just so that it's nice and rigid. Um, still had a tiny bit of play, but what I wanted to do was have, of course, one servo for each of the tilting services. And this is obviously going to be moved, the server will be moved over a little bit to the right. But if you look closely there, you see there's a join. And so what I've done is I'm allowing these two pieces of carbon fiber to move independently. But a little bit of slop, so the easy way to take that out is, is I got a pin in between them. And it's CA to the one pin, one on the left. And once I, once I pop, pop this back in there, um, all the slot disappears. It's almost like it's a single piece of carbon fiber. Probably I will put a much longer piece in. I just wanted to see how well it would work. So it looks like it's going to be good. Um, I've got, uh, let's say if we were doing forward flight, you can see there's a little bit of down available. And so I can just, uh, I can just move it like that for my aileron or elevator, depends on what functionality it's going to be. And then once we get back up to the horizontal position, again, we can still do the same thing to give me my directional control. So it's going to be kind of an interesting <clears throat> curve on the OAB where there's going to be um, some fine tuning control at both ends of the servo. The trick to making, to getting rid of the slot, uh, number one, is using metal servo. There's like almost zero movement on this. It's, it's nice and tight. It's a, uh, oh no, I locked it up. Okay. It's a Corona. Uh, it's a Corona, it's one of these guys. Digital servo. Um, it's a little heavier than your cheap, cheap old uh, Hobby King servo, but it's also a lot better quality. And, and doing some back calculations, what I'm going to use is, uh, is these motors off this little quad here and basically if I take the casing off of this guy it'll go from 30 to 13 grams and I weighed out everything and basically I have about 150 grams worth of frame here that these guys can just easily lift. So using the same power system I can make the whole thing about 150 grams. So the extra 15 grams on each of four of these is 60 grams. I'm still going to be pretty much under that 150. So I don't see that there's going to be any problem. In the meantime, I will look for some maybe lighter weight digitals. Well, if it doesn't work out, I will. Or I'll just make this a bigger bird and maybe use the motors off my tricopter instead and just make it a... 30 inch wingspan with a 5 inch cord as opposed to this half size which I am making here. That's it for now.